some days it's good, some days it's bad, some days you're firing, some days you're not. And then there's this moment like before each fight where you start to like the pieces of the puzzle come together, you see the picture and like this is what's happening right now. He's only 27 now, he's had uh, two world titles by the time he was 23 years old. Performance wise, it'll be his best performance. Looks the best I've ever seen him. You know, the weights look good and obviously we just keep in the heart rate up, just keep moving, burn the calories, making sure we don't no weight sitting on us because at the minute we're looking lean and ready to go, buzzing. I feel absolutely fantastic. You know, subconsciously it is the biggest test of my career. You know, I fought some really good legit guys. You know, arguably they are a lot more experienced than, than, than Gravely the way he is in his career, but to me this is a very, very important fight and that's why, you know, we're not cutting no corners with Gravely. We know how good he really is. You know, he has got a record of 19 and 5 for being a slouch and um, this is his UFC debut man, he's gonna come ready but like I've told everybody in the past, I, I don't want to fight the worst people, I want to fight the best of the best, you know. And January 25th, I hope to God that Gravely brings his best game because I'm ready for this. Nutrition, recovery, all plays parts. Yeah. And with bodybuilding, you know, we won't grow unless we recover. Every meal fuels something for or re replenishes after. I'm scared he's going to chuck it in the bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to watch him eat the food. <laughs> well, we all come from the same country. Yeah. None of us have been you know, born with a silver spoon in our mouth. Oh, no. Everything can be achieved. And then when you go up the ladder, don't ever forget the people have been there for you. Like for me, when you're doing something and you've been on the top for several years, you can, you can become complacent. But when you've got somebody come, like, the, the, like the King coming in, who has never won an Olympia, and, and that's his goal and dream, that's new blood that's fresh that's coming in that, that kicks your ass. So it's like, it's a great combination. You know, old school, new school. And stuff. So you're not having my phone? No, I wish I could. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come here and Beth, very proud of you my friend, we're going to bring that W on this weekend.